Okay, guys. I'm here with Yelby, and we're going to be checking out Eterna. It's a molecular science uh, simulation, which, if you do really well in, can actually contribute to real science. So, there's a number of puzzles, and there's a tutorial. Um, um, it's in the web, and you go to eterna.cmu.edu slash web. I'll put a link in the description for you guys, if you want to check this out. There's a whole number of things you can do, like the RNA lab, which is pretty cool. I'll check that out another time. But for now, we're going to just go to the puzzle area. He says explosive puzzle puzzle puzzles. And these are a bunch of puzzles. So what I want to do is probably... My whole puzzle. Yeah, we're going to do the uh, tutorials so that people can see what this is about. I've already done them. There's only six, so this won't take as long. And as you can see, a lot of people are playing this as well. Look, 76,000 people, roughly. Anyway, so we're going to play. And this is a Turner. So now what I'm going to do is just bring in the... Uh, Bring in the screen a little bit. Just so you can it's see. It's rather So you can get a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to keep those letters down there. Yeah, that's probably the best we're going to do. Okay. So, let's start. In Eterna, you are, or ETA RNA, you're going to design your own RNA, a fundamental part of living cells. RNA is a chain of molecules called bases. As you can see, there are four different types of bases. The yellow base is called adenine. The red base is called guanine. I might be saying this wrong. I hope I'm getting it right. The, the blue base is called uracil. And the green base is called cytosine. As a warm-up drill, let's change all four bases to G's. So, do exactly what it says. You can use left and right arrows to undo and redo. You can zoom in and out using magnifying glasses, mouse wheel, or the plus and minus keys. You can click on the background and move stuff around. Whee! The top box indicates the mission objective. The box will become white as soon as you, as soon as you achieve it. So, hit G. And now, click on them all I hit G not A G <laughs> it gave me the wrong uh, thing that was far too difficult yeah it was I, I can't do it it's far too difficult I can't do this <laughs> I changed them all to guanine I'm a mad scientist now I, I won't get anything for this as well because I've already done it right bases with specific colors pull each other up uh, like magnets and form a pair. Bing! U and A pair together. G and C pair together. G and U pair together. Palette highlights which two colours can form a pair. You can always check pairing colours at the palette, see? Right. The number below each pair indicates how many of the corresponding pair your RNA has. So I'm guessing that's the 1, the 12, and the 10, and the 5, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, 1, 12, 10, okay, number below each pair. It's not really below it, so. Um, as a warm-up, let's create three pairs. Yeah, so uh, they said that, um, what was it? Uh, they said the red one, A and G, wasn't it? That one, that one, and that I thought it was blue. Was it blue? Ah, uh, that's right. My bad. This one. Oh, God. There we go. This would make an amazing Why app. Yeah, this this would make an amazing app game. Just saying. It probably, it probably already is. So I'm going to have to look for it. We say RNA folds when it changes its shape to make base pairs. RNA folds to increase its stability, usually by forming stacks. A stack series... Is a uh, stack is a series of adjacent base pairs. The stability of a stack depends on the strength and the order of base pairs within. The pair intensity indicates the strength of the bond. 
So GC is strongest. You can see there's a bright graphic there in the bond. Uh, UA is the next strongest. And GU is the weakest. Okay. And I'm a complete noob. I'm just going off of what I know from the tutorial. It's, it's really fun, though. It's a nice puzzle game. Uh, let's paint our RNA so that it folds to create a stack with four pairs. Okay. So as I can see, I've got red and a G. And a G. Got that one. So if I go with a G, put that one there, that one there, and that one there, and then take the red and go here, here, and here. I got the pairs! All the pairs. I love the light, the ray shape, the rays that come off of it when you win. That's awesome. So we've learned that RNA likes to create stacks. Let's see what RNA dislikes. <clears throat> this RNA has a four pair stack. But in the real world, this RNA will not, will not fold into this shape. Because there is a loop in the stage. A loop is a series of unpaired bases between pairs. Loops make the RNA unstable and prevent the RNA from forming a stack. Usually, longer loops make the RNA more unstable. Because this four base loop makes the RNA unstable, the RNA won't fold into this shape. However, we can make our stack stronger and overcome the loop. Let's learn how to make this stack strong enough to stay in this shape. Okay. I've got to fold it. Fold it. I've got to make a hairpin. Hairpin. Okay, while doing this, you can put RNA in two modes. You've got natural mode, where it will fold, as in the real world. And uh, use ma you use that to check how it actually folds. The target mode will freeze RNA in the target shape. So it doesn't move, you know. So the target shape is this. That's what I want. So I use target mode to ch check which stacks I have to make. I can toggle between modes by clicking on them or hitting spacebar. So I'm going to hit spacebar and they're going to move into spa into place. So the stack's not strong enough to stay in the target shape. This is because the stack is made up of GU pairs, which are very weak. The quick way to make this stack stronger is to change GU to GC, which is stronger. So hit C. I'm going to change the U's for C's. And we've done it. If we change back to natural, mold, natural mode, RNA will not fold. So they've reset it. What we have to do is refold into the target shape. So if I remember, it was uh, one, no, 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 it was GC. So we went one, two, three, four, and let's just do this. I'm probably doing this completely differently. But there it is. It doesn't matter which way round it goes at this point, because it's just a tutorial. I'm, I'm guessing it gets more complex. So now Maybe. we're going to learn a cool trick to stabilize the stacks. So we've got to fold into this pattern. Oh, you can't see it. Damn, I skipped it too fast. Uh, I can't really do anything about that. Mm, okay, it's going to show me in this tutorial anyway. Um, it's basically the shape that I'm in now. There's got to be a bit of repelling going on. So you could try to fold these stacks with strong GC pairs. So let's check the design in native mode. Oh no! It didn't work, so how can we fix this? This powerful trick can help. Bases next to the stack matter a lot. So this one here, which is indicated, if I hit G and change that, okay, and now try it. See, we've got a pair now. Okay, because it's, it's, yeah, it's a trick. It increases the base. I literally only know what you know at this point, guys. All right, and it's then, all about the base. It's all about the base. So we're going to put one there as well. And we've done it. So try this yourself. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. One, two. There you go. Yay! And so now we move on to the final puzzle in the tutorial, which is going to solidify my skills as a master chemist or something. Noob! <laughs> uh, you, oh. have, you have learned all the basics you need to design RNA in ETA RNA. I'm probably not even saying the name of this game right. I feel bad. Eterna. Um, designing RNAs with target shapes has very important applications. You can design RNAs that fight off virus or help with biomedical research.
For this final puzzle, let's design a more complicated RNA. So I've got to fold into the structure just shown here. Um, so I think the way I did that was I went with C, 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 and then, uh, yeah, I went C, 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 and then I got these, and I went G, 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 did it differently Explosion. last time. <laughs> yeah, so that works. Last time I did it with you, and I had to put the strengthener underneath the chain there and there and there to make it work. So that was fun. Okay, next puzzle. So this is, I think, the first puzzle. All right, so here we go. We've got some rules now. We'll do this one, and uh, we'll see how I get on. So my RNA must fold into the structure in the white outline here. I can only have one GC pair, and I must have one or more GU pairs. So there you go. There's your restriction. I can't just use GC for everything. So that is my only GC pair. Let's see if it will let me make another one first. So let's see. Oh. Yep, it won't let me. Oh, gah! No, wait, it did let me. Hang on. There's locks on some of them. What I'll do is I'll put you... Yeah, there are locks on some of them, you're right. Good spot, mate. Good spot. So, you, you. So, they're gonna attach. And we've got one there, so then we'll put a G under here. And a U here. And, oh, we've still got something going on over there. What's all that about? Oh, God. Hmm. So I can't change that. These are all locked. Oh, no. Well, apparently I haven't used a GC pair yet, so that one apparently must be free. So... So, where can I use a GC pair to stabilize this? Um, Five and ten. Yeah. There. Oh, you can't put it on ten. I can't put it on ten. Damn. What about right above that? The left and right keys. Hang on. Yeah, I could put it there. Yeah. So, let's see, how about there and there? Good pairing. Oh, it's still unstable, though. It doesn't like me up here. Okay, and then what's that? A, U. No, it's still flapping in the wind. Oh. Mm. Need to get the top to pair up. So what pairs with you? Uh, sorry, A. Nope. Apparently I've got to have a U. Hmm. No. Aha! Did we get it? No, I've broken it. Too strong. I think I got it. No, I broke it. <laughs> oh, man. Can you make the uh, top link stronger? No, 
see. Yeah, see, if I put you there, it will attach. But then I think I need to change this one. Maybe to a C. Oh! It's still not there, though. Is that the shape we needed? No, because there's still bits flapping about. <laughs> I've got a really weak base. Hmm. Try changing the blue to an A. Very bottom. Oh no! Uh, whoops. Yeah, yeah, it totally broke everything. <laughs> oh, there we go, got it. But then still, these are all busted. So we've got it. Oh, there's two... Right, there's two blue-greens, and one of them should be red-blue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I switch them round. Oh no, those two are locked. So where the hell am I supposed to put that in? No. Yelby, it's trolling me. Um. I bet people that play this game are just going to be looking at this, going, huh, "Noobs, this is level one." Let's do a re let's do a reset. A reset. Get a fresh look at it. Uh, okay. All right. Refresh. Uh, how do we do that? Is that this one? No. This one. Reset. Yep. Okay. So we're allowed to use a green red and a blue red. Currently, it does this. So it needs to be strong down the bottom, I think. I think maybe if I put my green blue there, and then that will connect those. But green blue is weak, and C doesn't attract. All right. Well, if I use, look, and it doesn't count. It doesn't count the green blue. So obviously the things that are keyhole uh, locked don't count towards my quota. In which case... There we go. So we've got our green... We've got our GC, so now I need to put in a GU. GU. Uh -huh. Isn't the base supposed to be bigger? Yeah, it is. It's all yeah. It's all A though. All the base is A. What yeah. happens if you take out that uh, blue one five? What take it? Turn it into what? Uh, if I make it an A, it dis it de uh, disconnects. Make it a G, it doesn't do anything. Make it a C, it doesn't do anything. Make it. It's the only thing it does is with a U. Hmm. Mm hmm. And the only other thing I can change, I can change this node, uh, this node, so I can change these three here. What happens if I change that to blue? Ah, oh, that's what happens. Oh. Oh, I've got two green reds, and I should have a green blue somewhere, so... I've got to change that, and it falls apart. <laughs> uh, okay, so how about that? No, and then this. And then I need a uh, red. Ah, oh, no, and then that's wrong. We not use an A there. Oh, it breaks it. Magnets. Oh. 
Whoa! <laughs> what did I do? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? It broke it. Uh, backtrack. <laughs> See, that's what I need it to be, but the arrows, they're just... These are kind of coming around. That's coming down. Uh, yeah. hmm. This is hard. Yeah. These two guys just constantly want to meet. I got my red I got my red red greens there. It says I got two red greens. That's gotta be it. Oh, I've used two red greens. <laughs> it's too weak. If I take it apart, it's too weak. <laughs> Got any thoughts? Um. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <sighs> what was the base picture again? I forget what shape we're trying to make. Oh, the spaceship. Yeah, I know, right? No. I'm going to have to come back to this. There's actually a link to learn all about it up above. Right. Too hard. Do not want. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's the shade. Hmm. <laughs> and the people here are like doing crazy stuff. <laughs> 